Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting episode. And in today's episode, we're talking about muscle cramps. Stay until the end when I'm going to share with you why am I showing you calf or leg. But for now, let's take a look at this. Basically, what is going on here? This is the right calf. I'm going to highlight the muscle here. And it, as you can see, remains contracted even after the foot relaxes. See, so foot's, the foot's relaxing, but it still stays contracted, causing a lot of pain. A muscle cramp is a sudden painful and in, as you can see, involuntary contraction of one or more muscles, and uh, it basically lasts for a few minutes. What could cause this? Well, dehydration, overuse of the muscle, or prolonged stillness, or sitting for a long time, or not moving around for a long time of a muscle are common causes of muscle cramps. A muscle cramp may occur for unknown reasons as well. As you can see here, we're talking about the calf muscle again, and something inside this muscle causes it to not relax. Either it's a signal, or it's a buildup, or not enough calcium, maybe too much calcium. There could be a lot of reasons why. We are going to talk about this in a moment, but it's not just the dehydration that we're talking about here. You know, when we talk about dehydration, we mean people who are healthy. But uh, some of the other risk factors for muscle cramps include pregnancy and older age, certain medications, diabetes, and like I said, dehydration. One of the other reasons why muscle cramps could happen is because of what's called hypoparathyroidism. The hypoparathyroidism is basically an endocrine condition in which insufficient amounts of parathyroid hormone are produced by one or more of the parathyroid glands. The most common cause of this is the defective surgically removed parathyroid gland. But what you need to know is that decreased levels of parathyroid hormone can lead to decreased calcium, which is used in muscle contraction, and an increased phosphorus levels in the bloodstream. So it's natural that the patients with hypoparathyroidism can experience tingling in the fingertips or toes, as well as muscle cramps. To prevent a muscle cramp, you have to hydrate and stretch your muscles. Stretching actually helps to get rid of this. But the benefits of hydration cannot be overstated. This is why a lot of sports you know, people, soccer players, football players, have to hydrate. Because if they play for too long, muscle cramps start to happen. Obviously, you have to contact your healthcare pr practitioner if you suffer from a frequent muscle cramping or severe pain, swelling, and a muscle or weakness. We're going to talk about the molecular biology behind this in a different video, but since you've stuck around until the end, I'm going to tell you that the calf muscle, which is the gastrocnemius muscle, is the most common area of a muscle cramp. That is it. That's the reason why I'm showing you this, because you've probably experienced one of these as well, and it probably starts in your legs, especially in your calf. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you know somebody who likes this kind of information, please send them this video and check out the rest of the videos that I have. It was a pleasure seeing you. I'll see you in the next